guys, what's going on? It's me, Casado Perfect, bringing you another tutorial video on how to defeat the newly released seven star raid boss, which is none other than Intillion. It is the water type starter Pokemon from generation eight, Pokemon Sword and Shield, basically the game that I did not play and I still intend to play at some point in the near future. However, this event is running from April 20th, which is basically today, until the 30th, which is the day after tomorrow. And then it comes back on May 5th uh, until May 7th. This Pokemon is released at level 100, has its hidden ability, and knows the moves Blizzard, Snipeshot, Dark Pulse, Tearful Look, and has additional moves such as Mist, Snowscape, and of course, like every other 7-star raid boss, this one is holding the mightiest mark. Its stereotype is Ice, basically weak to Rock, Fire, and Fighting, and it has no held item, it is impossible to catch in its shiny form because it's shiny locked, and uh, well, it is a pretty easy Pokemon to defeat actually in comparison to a bunch other that we had to deal with in the past. Now let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what the counter is for this Pokemon in today's video. Now I did my research online and I've seen that many people have come up with a variety of different strategies that they can use to defeat this Pokemon easily, but to me the easiest one and basically it's like a brain dead strategy is this one. Annihilate. Annihilate is your guy with, oh, with this 7-star uh, rate. Um, what you want to have on Annihilate is have it, of course, at level 100. You can either use Metronome as its, uh, as its held item or Shell Bill to increase your sustainability. All right. So the moves that you want to have on Annihilate are Rage Fist, Drain Punch, and Sunny Day. Screech is basically useless. It's just there for show. I'm definitely not going to use it, and you do, as a matter of fact, want to use an ability patch to get your hidden ability defiant. It is going to be imperative to have this ability simply because of the fact that Tearful Look, one of the um, Intellion's moves, drops your attack and special attack by one stage, and by having defiant as your ability, it instead increases your stats by two stages, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the EV spread that you want to have on this Pokemon is 252 EVs on attack and 252 on HP. Once you have this done, give it Shell, shell Bell and um, you are basically ready to go. Now, let's go ahead and jump right in and see how this baby goes, because of course you want to know exactly what you have to do within the raid itself. To be successful now remember this is a solo run so if you're gonna be playing with different people online maybe there is a different uh, strategy that you can apply that is a little bit more effective but if you don't have anybody else to play with this is basically the best you can get right now all right so here we go all right so for starters um, I do have Staraptor on my side, so that's Intimidate is gonna come in clutch. Mist is going to be one of those automatic moves that he will uh, set out. Um, and Mist basically does not allow any uh, stat changes to drop from his side, so basically going for Screech is completely useless. Then it's going to go for Snowscape, which is gonna boost the defense stats of any Ice-type Pokemon, basically increases in the, his defense stats, and also he knows Blizzard, and Blizzard has a 100% accuracy uh, in the snow, um, and that's very dangerous. So we want to go ahead and start off the game by using Sunny Day. Now one of the things that can happen that is truly, truly annoying is he can freeze you. Now unfortunately here, he did not freeze me and I'm able to pull off the Sunny Day. By pulling off the Sunny Day, I force the Blizzard to go back from 100% accuracy to its original 70% accuracy. Now, the thing is here, I want to go for All Out on the second turn, basically, um, you know, having two turns to myself right after the other. Um, this way, I am definitely going to be in a position where I can dish out a, a, as much damage as I possibly can without having to, you know, uh, set up much. Now that I set up the Sun, set up the, went for the go All Out, and now all I have to do is go for the Drain Punch. The beautiful thing here is he's gonna go for the tier, Tearful Luck and, and he's gonna drop my attack. Well, not really because I have Defiant, I get a plus two back. And the same goes for my special attack, which I'm obviously not going to use since I am a fully physically trained Pokemon. Drain Punch is gonna do a massive amount of damage for the turn that we are currently in. I'm gonna go back to full HP, um, and usually this doesn't this doesn't really happen. Usually he takes you out, and then you have to come back in and you know go for Drain Punch as many times as you possibly can. 
um, but apparently we are having a pretty good start in this tutorial as you can see now the blizzard actually hits um, and one of the beautiful things here and it's gonna nullify my stat changes of course but one of the beautiful thing here uh, uh, about the sunny day here is the fact that you cannot get frozen so even though blizzard hits which is quite extraordinary in the sun uh, with a very low accuracy it is in still impossible for it to freeze us which is fantastic also its hidden ability um, is basically quite problematic because uh, his hidden ability sniper which its power of critical hit moves instead of doing 150 percent it does 225 percent so basically if you get critted yeah you're probably going to die there is little resistance there well, we got taken out here, unfortunately, but like I mentioned before, this one took a little bit longer, but on the next round, resurgency is going to happen. You're going to be successful as soon as you come back in because you will have the turns ready. You can probably terrestrialize at some point uh, very soon. The problem here is, is that we need to get rid of that shield as soon as possible. So we're just going to go for the drain punch because it's super effective and uh, it is basically the best options that we have so this is a very straightforward tutorial to be honest it's just starting off the game with sunny day making sure snowscape is not active um, after the sunny day you want to go for an all-out cheer up and then from that point on you want to go for the drain punch until infinity because yep that's basically the strategy and uh, yeah there is really not much else to add here I'm gonna get frozen here which is very unfortunate